Right, Pole Award winner for Sunday, 17th Annual Ford EcoBoost 400 is Denny Hamlin. He drives also a, known as Mr. Ir Irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Number, he drives the number 11 FedEx Ground Toyota for Joe Gibbs Racing. Denny, congratulations on this pole, and just talk about your car and your uh, your uh, outlook for Sunday's race. Well, our, our car is really fast. It's been fast all day. It was fast in race trim. We didn't make any qualifying runs until those three sessions, and we kept getting faster every one. So I'm pretty optimistic. Uh, and, you know, sitting back here and, and watching Jeff talk and everything, it's like, man, you know, I, I thought about it before, but didn't think about, like, how awesome it would be to win his final race. So, uh, you know, no disrespect to him, but, man, that would be awesome to win his final race. So, uh, you know, hope he finishes third behind Kyle. Spoke like a true teammate. Questions for Denny Hamlin? Take questions for Denny Hamlin. Dominic, you got one? Raise your hand. I know you got one. Take Dominic, and then we'll go with Dustin Long. Dominic Otago on the RacingExperts.com. Based on your practice speeds today, how confident were you that you could sit on the pole? Uh, none. I mean, we didn't make any qualifying runs. We all we, we definitely focused on racing, knowing that there was a chance for rain tomorrow, uh, and we got bit you know, at Texas, um, not being in race trim, uh, and, and we had a fuel issue uh, early in the race. So didn't have much, but I knew that my car, you know, in practice, this is this is so far the best car I've ever had here by a long way. Let's go to Dustin. Go ahead, and then we'll go over here to Tom Jensen. Dustin Long, NBC Sports. Uh, Denny, since we're at the end of the season now, what is the, the plan on the knee for the, the surgery? What uh, is, I guess, have you been able to keep it to where – there's been minimal damage since in the last 10 weeks, and, and, and what's the rehabilitation and, and how that's going to affect your offseason? Um, you know, right now, right now we're, we're planning on, uh, you know, right after um, when the season's over, uh, right after Thanksgiving, trying to get it done then. And, um, you know, we'll just try to see how I feel after that. But uh, certainly want to get it over with as soon as possible. I've, this, this one has been, has worked with me a lot better than my first one for sure. Uh, I think if, you know, last time I did it in January, we waited till March. Well, that two month period between, I had a lot of moments where it gave out and was doing further damage. Uh, this one didn't do that at all, knock on wood. So um, I, I've, this one, I, I would have never done the other one in the middle of the season if, if it would have reacted like this one. So I'm hopefully going to come out quicker and stronger uh, on this one since it's behaved well uh, pre operation. Yes. Let's go over far left. Tom. Hey, Danny. Tom Jensen, FoxSports.com. Congratulations on the poll. You were here last year racing for the championship, and you said then you were playing with house money because you really, you know, hadn't been the fastest all year. Got a good car now. Is it kind of a mixed emotions deal for you now? Well, it's mixed for me because look what took us out. I mean, all just two mechanical failures. Um, Oh, well, one mechanical failure took us out uh, uh, at Talladega, uh, amongst other things. Um, but uh, that, between that and then, you know, even if we would have moved on, we had, you know, car, my car wouldn't run at Texas after 30 laps. Uh, something happened with the fuel system. So um, those two things have mired us back in 10th in points when actually, you know, you look at our finishes, we've been really, really good in the chase when we've run. So uh, I, it's kind of bittersweet knowing that you know this is you know the chase always seems to set up for me nicely, especially the the tracks that are at the tail end of it, Martinsville, Texas, and and, and this one here. Um, so you know, I'd still like to win, no doubt about it. But uh, trust, you know, it's a little bit more relaxing and fun this time around. Uh, but uh, I, I would definitely trade my position with uh, any one of those four guys. Go back over here, far right. Raise your hand there, young man. Far right, and then we'll finish with Kenny. Zach Catan's already front stretch. Uh, flashback to your 2013 win here. It was a big comeback win. Does that, does that stand out to you as your favorite moment at this track that you've had a lot of success at? Um, yeah, definitely, because that one kind of kept our win streak alive. Uh, I think at the time it was eight straight seasons uh, with a win. It came down to this final race that I needed to get a win to keep that alive. So, 
Yeah, it was probably my best win uh, here at this track. We've never qualified well. I think my average finish, average start is way, way, way in the back. Uh, haven't figured out how to run faster in qualifying, but uh, this is a good sign for sure. So hopefully we, uh, we'd we like to lead every single one of the laps uh, when it comes here on Sunday. So if my car stays the way it was today, I've got a pretty good chance of that. Final question, front row, Kenny Bruce. Kenny Bruce, NASCAR.com. Denny, you talked about the issues that you had that kept you out of this year's chase. And you, you talk about how the chase sets up for you, how you feel good about it. Do you feel, I don't want to say snake bit, but how much disappointment is there that you have run as well as you have in the chase a number of years, and yet you're still trying to win? Numb to it. I mean, between roof hatches and fuel systems and master switches and all the stuff that has happened to me in chases, I am just numb to feeling bad about, you know, mechanical issues. You know, we hadn't had any issues like that uh, with JGR in the last year and a half, and it just happened at a really, really bad time uh, for us uh, at Talladega. So uh, I'm, we've really come a long way as an organization as far as, you know, eliminating those things, but they happen, and it just got us at, at, a, at a wrong moment uh, in the chase. And so, um, you know, I, I definitely, I was really, really mad for a week or so, and then, you know, you just kind of, you, you get over it. There's just nothing that I could do uh, to change my outcome this this year. <clears throat> Danny, thank you so much, and good luck this weekend. Thank you.